So, Vayakha um, Pekude is a really big parsha, and uh, last week, yesterday, the Kitisa ends, and you have Moshe putting the mask on his face. It's really this like high point of spirituality. And the first thing that we learn in Vayakhel is the laws of Shabbat. And, it's, uh, and it precedes the building of the Mishkan, the description of that. And so the rabbis say that the juxtaposition of Shabbat and Mishkan is where we learn the 39 malachas of what you can't do on Shabbat. And so I always grew up learning that Shabbat is this like holier time than the six days of the week. But I was reading a book about King David and, and Goliath, and it said that if you looked at them, they were like two planets in different orbits. And that when they collided, it was an explosion, which was when you know, he shot him with the slingshot. And so when I was reading through the first paragraph that describes Shabbat, it says that that the uh, the Shabbat is a Shabbat Shabbaton. We think of Shabbat like Shabbat, but in the Bible, Shabbat is rest. It's it's a it's a complete rest. And the idea that I've been thinking about is that Shabbat is not that it's holier. It's a completely different time zone. It's almost like you have space. You've got the um, the uh, ring around the, the what do you call it? The atmosphere of the atmosphere. What if we go through uh, uh, you know, coming to Earth between space and Earth? That's like the 18 minutes of Shabbat. And then you have Earth. They're like two different time zones. So it's not that one is better than the other. And so the question is, how are we going to make our six days equal in the sense of combining what the Mishkan was about, which was taking all the physical things in the world and uplifting them? And that's kind of our goal. And one separate point is that uh, when they get to the point of, right before the construction, Moshe says, here is Betzalel and here is Ahaliyah. And Betzalel is from the tribe of Yehuda, which was the whole, the king, kingly tribe. And Don, Aliyah was from the tribe of Don. He specifically pointed them out. Why? Don was like a lowly tribe. The reason is because everybody had equal footing in regards to the building of the Mishkan. So when we hear these stories of like, he's got this yechus and that yechus, that's all modern day invention. In the Bible, everybody had equal footing. And I think that's a valuable thing to think about. Rabbi 